Hello there guys, I'm here to review the film The Simpsons Movie based off the, well, it's a continuation not a based off, it's a continuation of the TV series The Simpsons and uh, stars all the voices from the TV show like Dan Castellaneta, Julie Kavner, Hank Azaria, um, Harry Shearer and all those guys and also has um, Albert Brooks in it as the villain who's also guest starred in a lot of episodes of this so this movie is kind of about how um, at the beginning we see a um, grandpa has like this thing in church where um, he gets a vision of um, what's going to happen and you know, Homer just wants to ignore it and you know, Marge you know, thinks it might mean something but um yeah, so, and then Homer makes, uh, is a really bad um, father, basically, and he makes Bart go skateboarding naked, and um, he also then finds uh, a pig that he um, takes care of, and uh, he takes more care of the pig than um, Bart, and um, basically he puts um, the uh, pig's uh, crap in the... Uh, in the uh, river and pollutes it basically and makes this um this squirrel goes in there and gets like um, a thousand eyes and uh, basically because of that because it's so polluted they have to put a uh, dome over Springfield the town they live in and um, basically they like all the people of Spring they find out that um it was Homer who put the pig crap in the uh, river and um, everyone comes after Homer so um, they have to leave town but, um, but then um, because people are destroying the uh, dome they, um, Russ Cargill uh, wants to um, destroy Springfield but um, he doesn't um, make, want the president to um, look at um, what the uh, num what the plan is he just wants him to pick it. Um, and yeah, so basically they have to go and save Springfield. And yeah, I think this is a really you know, great adaptation of the uh, TV show. It's not an adaptation, it's a continuation. Because so, yeah, it has all the same people making it and all the same voices and stuff. It's a continuation of the TV show. And I mean, this came out 18 years after you know, the TV show first came out so like if they aged properly like Maggie would have been of legal age to go out and have a pint like when this movie came out and um, I used to love this movie as a kid I mean I used to watch this religiously as a kid I thought it was so funny and yeah I think it still holds up very well I think it's still very funny <laughs> and um, I like a uh, thing they did that's a lot like with the TV show is that the thing that an episode starts on has nothing to do with the main plot, but it leads into the main plot. And they do that with this movie, where uh, um, at the beginning we see Green Day, the band, uh, dying, and then yeah, their funeral in church, and then you know, um, Abe, you know, Homer's dad, getting a, the vision of what's going to happen. And also with um, we have like Homer and Bart on the roof, which you know, leads to the, having like a dare contest which leads to Homer daring Bart to go skateboarding naked and they go to the uh, Krusty Burger and uh, that's where he meets the pig and that's where all that happens and you know and it's also very uh, it's very funny but it's also quite um, sad as well I mean it's about like, Homer learning to be a good dad to Bart basically and also they have like but um, bonding with Ned Flanders, the neighbour, and like the scene where um, Marge leaves Homer the videotape of her, you know, talking about like she doesn't know why she forgives him for all this stuff. You know, that's just, I mean, it's so sad. I mean, I think, I mean, and the epiphany scene, you know, that's just so great. I mean. I mean, like, the tr when the trees, like, pull Homer apart and make him melt, and then he says, like, 
I don't care about myself anymore, and then he says, because... And you know, they let him go after that and put him back together and then they play the classic, you know, Simpsons you know, theme song. <clears throat> yeah, that's such a great scene. And um, one thing I did notice is that I felt like it was kind of a thing about it was kind of ripping off the uh, SpongeBob movie was you know, the in the SpongeBob movie the beginning is like the pirates watching the uh SpongeBob movie and um they have a bit in the middle where they're crying because uh, they're all dried up and then at the after the end credits we get a scene of them you know being asked to leave they have a, like, a thing a bit like that in this where you know we see at the beginning like um they're watching the movie like the simpsons family is watching the movie it's a itchy and scratchy cartoon before the movie and then we get a scene after the uh, credits, well, in, in the middle of the credits, where um, Bart wants to go to the toilet, um, but um, Homer wants him to me to memorise everyone's names. He's like, a lot of people work really hard on this movie. All they ask is for you to memorise their names. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is funny, but I do feel like they were kind of copying from the SpongeBob movie, especially considering they're both, you know, movie continuations of... Um, very popular cartoons about yellow people. I mean, yeah, but I think it's so funny. It's it's a great movie from my uh, childhood, really. <clears throat> I I remember like the but when I was a kid, like the but skateboarding naked scene used to be like my favorite. And yeah, you know, I mean, I I won't lie, I kind of do find it still funny now. I mean, where all the things, you know, covering up his willy. I mean. <laughs> And there's a funny bit in that where um, he lands on the uh, window in the Krusty Burger and um, Ned Flanders is there with his kids and he, he says, Boys, before we eat, don't forget to thank the Lord for this bountiful penis. And then his kids are like, bountiful penis, oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of great uh, comedy in it as well. And um, I love when um, he makes the, uh, if you see like in there, when he makes the, uh, sp the pig walk on the ceiling and he says, spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. And later on he decides that he's not um, spider pig anymore, he's Harry Plopper. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's very funny as well. Yeah, it's very um, heartwarming as well. Yeah. Um, that um he's learning to be a good dad and yeah um all that stuff I mean and learning to be a good husband to Marge I mean and Bart kind of learning to like be get more respect for his dad even though his dad's pretty bad I mean uh yeah and one other scene I um I really like is when um there's a wanted poster in the uh, shop. And uh, Bart draws over the uh, wanted picture, and then there's a family in the shop that looks exactly like um, the pic like when Bart drew over the picture of them. That that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, and I think Albert Brooks as um, Russ Cargill, the villain, he's um, really funny. I think he's probably the best you know new character in the film. You know, then the best like character introduced for the film I mean and of course all the voice actors from the show of course do a great job and the animation of course is great I mean they use like they really upgraded the animation from the TV show the animation from the TV show is you know brilliant and but I mean the animation in this looks much more cinematic and I mean it's much more epic I mean that you know Springfield is going to be destroyed and like they're underneath the dome and they're all trapped and yeah it's just a really you know great movie and I love on the um, DVD it's got um the O in movie is a donut and Homer's eating it and uh, on the DVD it's a donut because Homer likes donuts so yeah great movie great movie check it out if you love the TV show, you've probably already seen this, but yeah, I love it. Bye.